technical difficulties, I think we're up and running now. Um, I'm going to be starting today's program with Le Ballet Espagnol by Gilles Silvestrini, a French composer and oboist. It is the sixth and final etude in his set of programmatic etudes for oboe. Each etude depicts a different famous Impressionist painting. Le Ballet Espagnol was painted by Edouard Manet in 1862. The scene depicts a Spanish ballet company that was performing in Paris at the time. These concert etudes by Silvestrini are one of the only examples of impressionistic music written for the oboe and have become a staple of our repertoire from the 20th century. I picked etude six for its flair and buoyant dance quality. I hope you enjoy.
another etude, also by an oboist and composer named Elisa Morris. Similarly to Silvestrini, Morris wrote a set of six programmatic etudes called the Collision Etudes, each based on a painting. However, these paintings she chose are by six American women. Today, I will be playing Etude 4, titled Rainbow, after a painting by 20th century African-American painter Alma Thomas. There are five distinct sections of this piece following the color blocks in the painting. And I particularly love this etude for its evocative use of harmonic fingerings, which create a shift in tone color. I hope you enjoy Rainbow by Alyssa Morris.
playing is a piece for solo English horn titled Bouquet by Paul M. Douglas. Douglas was a Canadian composer born in Constantine, Algeria. His primary instrument was the flute and his composition style was influenced by North African and French upbringings. So I hope you enjoy this next piece.
Ted worked on this semester. Um, thank you to all of the musicians that played with me in those pieces. And I will be right back for the final piece.
Yeah, I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's okay, we're starting now. Hi, everyone. We're back from the intermission. Sorry that my mics were still on, I guess. That has not happened before in the many times I've tested this. Um, that's okay. You got to hear us talking about mangoes. It's all good. <laughs> this is what happens when you try to live stream for the first time at your recital. Um, <laughs> well... Before I play the final piece tonight, I just wanted to say thank you to my teacher, Marion. Um, she has done so much for me this semester, even though we've had our challenges with technology. Prime example is happening right now. Um, and all of that, uh, I really feel like I would not have made it through this degree without her. And I have grown as a musician and as a person so much. So thank you, Marion. Um, and I'm just making sure it's working. I think so. Okay, the final piece I'm going to be playing tonight is titled The Garden of Love for Oboe and Soundtracks by Jacob TV. And the lyrics are by William Blake. Jacob writes about the piece, as in all my boombox pieces, speech is the ready-made source of inspiration. Melody and rhythm of the spoken word was analyzed and written down after that. I composed the soundtrack. Both the solo instrument and the soundtrack are of equal importance. The poem by William Blake, an English Romantic poet, was published in 1794. From the viewpoint of innocence, Blake describes a garden tainted by the constraints of organized religion. From life, the garden decays into death, and the speaker is being bound by priests in black gowns. Thank you all for coming and tuning in to my master's degree recital. Um, and without further ado, and hopefully any issues, <laughs> please enjoy the Garden of Love. Woo! I went to the Garden of Love and saw what I never had seen. A chapel was built in the midst, where I used to play on the green. And the gates of this chapel were shut, and thou shalt not writ over the door. So I turned to the garden of love that so many sweet flowers bore. And I saw it was filled with graves, and tombstones where flowers should be, and priests in black gowns were walking their rounds and binding with briars my joys and desires.
Binding with pride, I'm binding with pride, my joy. 